Hey guys, I'm doing an updated condo tour. <clears throat> I'm currently sick. Um, so this is the door. This is the light switch. Anyway, so when you first walk in, we have a bunch of... This is my boob. Um, we have a bunch of cardboard that needs to be getting rid of, but we're gonna do that. Um, you just have to go downstairs to do it, and yeah, no one really wants to do that. There's some bunny hair, because my bunny's shedding. Um, oh my god, there's more bunny hair. We're just letting it build up for now, because we've been having to sweep every fucking second. Oh, there's my bunny's room. This is the first bathroom. This is the... I don't know why he looks weird. Um, shower curtain. Me looking ugly. Yep. Um, you guys have already seen the laundry. I don't really need to do that. Okay, so the kitchen is messy. I promise you it was clean last night. Um, all the bottles were on top of here. I'm building up, but I want to get rid of them because they just look really, um, they're just annoying. Okay, so this is the counter. Um, these are the bottles. <laughs> Lots of garbage. I got a toaster. I finally got a knife set, like, last week. Um, I'm keeping those bottles because that's really expensive. Those for when I first moved in. I love Patron, and that's Tatiana's. Uh, Valentine's gift that I had for her. She didn't take the red one. She just took the pink one. Then we have the mirrors. I'm not going to show myself because I look really bad. And then going in, I finally got a couch. Um, it took like two months after I moved in to get it. Sorry, I'm on the phone. Okay, yeah. Yep, those sirens come every day, like five times a day. Anyway, so this is the couch that I got. Just gonna let them have their fun. This is the couch that I got. Um, these are the yellow spring rolls and that's DMX's cage. I'm gonna be getting rid of that. Um, this is our deck with a broken chair or not fat, fat friendly chair. Anyways, okay, so this is the couch that I got, and actually, I'll explain, I'll explain where I got it after, but it's custom made, of the. it's really big, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna get one of those wet vacuum cleaners for couches and shit. I don't know who's blowing up my phone. Uh, this is the TV. I'm gonna be getting a bigger one. Don't look if you don't want to be in the camera. Okay, this is Theo's room. She um, redid re it and like put the bed facing this way, which um, what's it called? Inspired me to do mine the same way, which you'll see. Yeah. Trying to show the mirror. This is her mirror. Oop, you can see you. Sorry. <laughs> she stole this from my living room because she hates yeah. me. Yeah. Um, yeah. These are from Pretty Little Thing, and then the comforters from Amazon. Okay. Bye. Good night. Okay, bye. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, now we're gonna go into my room. My, oh, I got this poster. Super cute. Oh, that's the hole that DMX chewed up. I'm gonna fix that. Okay, now we go into my room. And like I said, Theo um, inspired me to change my room around, so this is where the bed is now. My ring light. Um, I'm gonna be like redecorating my entire condo i'm not telling you guys what i'm doing but anyways this is the view i'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks at night like like at night time because it's really fucking beautiful anyways um this is my bed it's made for once kind of 
my laundry, that's the closet. This is the closet inside. So we have that. I tried to color coordinate. And this is where I keep all my hoodies and stuff for the winter. I have a bunch of pants. I have a, <laughs> a digital camera that I got on Christmas and I never use it for some reason. My wig. Let me take a step back. It's actually big, like you can literally like walk in it. It's kind of cluttered. Um, what else? Bathroom. Not gonna show you the rest of the floor because I haven't cleaned it. Oh no, not my reflection. Okay. But yeah, obviously there's some cleaning to be done. Don't come for me, whatever. Okay, yeah, as I was saying, so for any of you guys who live in the GTA, there is a, um, don't remember what it's called, but if you Google custom-made couches in Brampton, there's this place that you can go to in Brampton, and it's like this little, it, it kind of looked sketchy when I first went, but it's literally like so, oh my god. So I called them and I was like, or I messaged them on Instagram. I don't have the DMs anymore because um, it was a long time ago. But I messaged them on Instagram and I was like, hey, like, I'm looking to get a pink couch. Because, like, I literally refused to get a couch that wasn't pink. I'm sorry. So, like, hey, can I get a pink couch? And they're like, yeah, like, we do custom made, da, 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 da. And, like, they gave me prices and shit. And um, they we made an appointment and I went in and they showed me the colors and they literally had, like, so many different colors like they have any color you can think of in like any shade like blue fucking yellow fucking like everything like it was amazing and then they had like the different types of couches that they have um set up there and like they'll show you like you can get this 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 like i got like the biggest one not the biggest one but like <clears throat> one of the biggest ones and it came to sixteen hundred dollars um and you paid like a bit of a upfront and then you paid the rest when they come and when they come we tipped them like extra money to take the little old leather couch that i had that my dad gave me to use in the meantime um so it was really good really great service um also not that you know i mean like my condo is a bit dirty right now but it was actually really clean last night it's because like today um or yeah we cooked last night and by we i mean she she cooked um a healthy little fun veggie and chicken meal and my bathroom and my room is actually really improved from i cleaned it up like a little bit like i put a bunch of stuff in the closet like i took all the like garbage and food and dishes out of my room so that's good like i never was able to see like the from my floor before so yeah that's an improvement um my toilet is currently clean which i mean you know but i have to sweep the floor what i really hate about my bathroom floor is that it's white so like literally anything that goes on it you can see it so like when i'm like brushing my hair you can see all the hairs on the floor like you can literally see like the littlest speck of dirt on the floor um my bed i want to get like a new bed set i don't know because like i really like this sorry i'm obsessed with the view i'm so obsessed um i really like this and i also have like the pennywise bed set but i'm trying to like upgrade to something more interesting maybe because the Pennywise was a duvet cover and nobody told me that you had to buy like a separate duvet to put inside of the duvet cover and how does that even work like it just seems like a lot of trouble to me like how do you perfectly fit it and like you know um any other updates I'm currently two and a half weeks sober I'm doing the 30 day no alcohol challenge 
Um, I'm going to be opening a P.O. box next week or maybe further into the year because I wanted you guys to be able to send me birthday gifts because a lot of people have asked about it. And, um, oh my god, y'all, I'm going to cry. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I have to show you this. It's what some, what a supporter sent me. Um, she commented in the comments and she said that she wanted to send me, like, I don't remember what she said, but she, um, okay. I went to go show you guys what she got me, but Theo's playing music and I don't want them in the background. I'm breaking out everywhere. Um, anyway, I didn't want those in the background. Who the fuck keeps texting me? Oh, uh, I called a therapist place. I wanted to get a new therapist and they just called me back and I missed the call. So just give me a second. Sorry. I forgot that I had just called a therapy place. I didn't think they were going to call back that fast, but I just had to leave a message again. So they're going to call back. So if I interrupt this again. Anyway, so the box came with, oh my God, like I, like, damn, okay, one second. that was actually really weird. Um, I have a new therapist. Um, so, you know, I already told you guys how my last therapist was 250 per 15 minutes. 50. Whoops, not 15. That would be fucking insane. Um, but anyway, so I was calling around a therapist today and, um, I have a mustache. Please ignore that. I decided I'm not gonna fucking shave my facial hair as often because who's seeing me? <laughs> anyways, but anyways. Oh my god. Sorry, this is, I'm excited. Okay, um, let me just get back to what the girl sent me. So, anyways, so, she messaged me on Instagram. I sent her, like, where to send it. And she sent me, like, this box full of stuff. Like, there's, like, a bunch of makeup stuff. She sent me three books. One was a CBT, um, workbook, which I'm actually, like, really, 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 really fucking excited about. Um, because, I mean, that's helpful a lot. And then there was a... 28 no day alcohol challenge which i'm already doing so that's really helpful and the last one was how to something to do with alcohol it's just like another way um to like give you advice on how to like stay away from alcohol and then she sent me a card and she wrote a note in it and it was so sweet and she gave me a chocolate bar which i had for breakfast but yeah, it was really sweet, and it was really sweet, so thank you again. Um, okay, and then, anyway, so, okay, this is gonna, oh my god, I'm, I'm just so excited right now. So, I've been, like, manifesting, or, like, not really manifesting, I don't know, like, manifesting slash, like, praying a lot lately, and, like, I, like, kept checking my mailbox every day, like, and I kept saying, like, oh, my ID is gonna come, my ID is gonna come. I know this just seems, like, really little, but it's just kind of, like, you know, but I just kept, like, saying, like, oh, my ID is gonna be here, my ID is gonna be here, like, any day. It said four to six weeks. It's only been not even a whole two weeks, and it came in the mail today. Like, so I can finally get my money out. Um, anyways, back to the therapy I called around today, and by called around, I mean I did my research, and then I just called this one place, but they're offering um, therapy for 115 per 50 minutes, so that's a lot better, and if I just stay away from all the stuff that I would use to, like, splurge money on stupidly, then I think that this is going to be a really good thing. Um... I think that's it yeah i mean like my last therapist wasn't really a fit and she kind of didn't really help and this one's going to be in person mostly well i asked her in person so hopefully this one's better and i get something out of it um that's what i said I do not know why my hair looks greasy. I think I've been putting too much leave-in conditioner in. 
because I literally took a shower yesterday. Um, okay, in other news, ew, I look gross. Look how greasy this is. Like, am I putting too much leave-in conditioner? Um, for all of you commenting about the dander shampoos to use, this one's really working, to be honest. So, I'm just going to stick to this. Um, oh, what else? She sent me in the box. Oh, my God. This is so cool. I've never heard of this. It's called, it's like a shower bar. And, like, you put it on the floor of your shower and you let the shower run. And you let the, like aroma or like sense or whatever like come up and then you get in the shower and like i'm so excited to use it <sighs> but yeah um oh let me get to the point okay so tomorrow i am dropping merch um for those of you who know the past, I have been scammed. And the merch sometimes was inappropriate for some of you to wear. Or maybe you just didn't like the fact that it was inappropriate. And like, you know. I'm not sure how a lot of people are going to feel about this. Because it does say men are trash on it. But I want a lot of you to understand that when I say men are trash, it's just a general statement. It's not like, I don't think every man is trash. Like, there are some good guys. But, like, you know, if you see men are trash and you get offended, then I think you have some inside issues, maybe. Because why would you get offended? If you knew that you weren't trash, why would you get offended? And, like, some of you will be like, oh, like, my boyfriend wouldn't let me wear that. Or my husband wouldn't, like, bro... Please stop. I'm kidding. I don't I don't really care what you do, but I think if your boyfriend doesn't want you to wear that, that's Let me just shut up. I don't even know what the point of me saying that is. Anyway, so at first we have so the girl who did the designs thought maybe some of you don't want graphic t shirts or don't really like graphic stuff, so there's just this simple men are trash. Mm, let me do this a different way. Wait, hold on. Um, okay, yep, that is not any better. Um, okay, you know what? Let me just turn oh, the damn camera. For those of you who don't like graphic t-shirts, and I don't know who wouldn't because it's me on it, but this is the design that we have for anyone who doesn't want a graphic thing. For those of you who are interested in graphic stuff, this is the design that we have. Um, it's me with money and my belly because, you know, I'm fat, whatever. I thought it would be really cute to add, like, a belly this time. Because I don't want it to be, like, misrepresented and, like, have me looking thick when I'm not. I don't know. But, yeah, so we have t-shirts in black, white, and light pink. Um, we also have... Hoodies and crew necks, but only in black and white. I'm sorry. And let me just go look at what the the sizing was. Um, so the sizing, the t-shirts go to up to five X. Um, the hoodies go up to four X, and the crew necks only go up to three X. But I honestly prefer the t-shirts. To be honest, because I really like t-shirts, like baggy t-shirts, um, hoodies, maybe for the winter. I'm gonna, I want to try to get, um, long sleeves put in there too soon. But yeah, hopefully you guys like this one better and everything works out. I know there were a few of you who didn't receive the last merch, um unfortunately or didn't like it for those of you who didn't like it i'm sorry for those of you who ordered it paid for it and didn't receive it hit me up on instagram and i'll see what i can do about um giving you a refund um i you can't do it through the site because i don't really have contact with that girl and the site is now shut down so i'm gonna have to pay out 
Like, I'm going to have to take responsibility for it and pay it myself, which I have no problem doing. So, yeah, if you had that problem, and I've already spoken to a few of you, um, I get paid soon since I got my ID. So, if you could hit me up on Instagram, it's SagittariusShotty8. Also, for those of you who had me on Snapchat, my Snapchat got deleted because I posted a video of me doing something gross. So, doing, not doing something gross, doing something, like, sexual, but it wasn't even nude. It, I don't want to explain it because it's it's stupid. But anyways, I have a new Snapchat. So my new Snapchat is Sag G hates you, but it's just the letter U instead of the whole word, which was my old one. Um, I have not been replying to Snapchats or opening them because I did say that I kind of want to work on myself, and part of doing that is protecting my peace, and protecting my peace involves not potentially opening. <laughs> not potentially poten bro not potentially opening up um hate messages which is snapchat is where i get like literally every hate message like if you if you look at my snapchat i have 300 on open snap um i'm not purposely ignoring you i just don't want to possibly get a trigger of some sort because i know the snapchat messages can get really rude and i just don't want to get offended and have to go back and forth or have it ruin my day or my energy or whatever so i'm just protecting my peace for right now because i don't think i can handle it um and this has become a ranting video and now it's annoying but yeah um merch drops tomorrow i hope someone buys it I don't know, no one likes me anymore. I'm boring. Yep. Yeah. Trying to think of anything else I had to say. Yeah, I was going to get an iPhone 13, but that shit's $2,000. And I'm not going to be dumb this year. Or I'm not going to be dumb anymore with my money. So I'm just not going to get it. <laughs> Alright, love you guys. Um, also, oh, that's what I was missing, okay, so I had an idea, um, I'm gonna open a P.O. box or whatever, and I'm going to ask if you guys live in any country besides Canada, or if your background is, like, something besides Canadian or whatever, um, and you have, like, cultural foods or like foods that you're specific is it culture um eat or like no not specifically food snacks that your culture has um i wanted to do a video of me trying out different snacks from around the world um so if you guys were interested in sending me some snacks for me to do a video um hit me up on instagram or not snapchat i won't be opening it Hit me up on Instagram or comment below. Um, yeah, that's it. I'm sorry for ranting. I talk a lot. Bye. Love you guys. Okay, so this is the view at night. Okay, Ma'am, stop twerking on my bunny. He likes it. No, he doesn't. Oh, no, he's running. No. <laughs> okay, anyways, this Good is the view. Good night. View, view, view. Yeah, it's bedtime. It's only nine. But hold on, I gotta go to my bedroom. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. Good night, DMX. Okay, now this is my bedroom. The review from my bedroom. Look at that. I'm a city girl. <coughs> okay, someone please tell me if this is normal. Okay, so I've been coughing and like. <coughs> 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 Like, you hear my cough. Anyways. I've been coughing with this for three weeks now. 
I have like a lump on like the side of my throat. You know, like when your lymph node gets swollen when you're sick, I have like a lump. But it's been there for longer than it's supposed to be. Like usually the swollen lymph nodes go away like pretty kind of fast. And it's here for an unusual amount of time. So I Googled all my symptoms and I was like, I ruled out that it wasn't COVID and then I like came to like bronchitis and like I was like oh okay well I'm just gonna let it go away. I got cough medicine. Um, I keep getting headaches every day. I cough so much that like I start getting lightheaded and feel like I'm gonna pass out. <clears throat> I thought it was from the secondhand smoke so Theo stopped smoking and I still have the cough. Um, what else? Oh yeah, the cough the cough syrup didn't work. I started taking Tylenol for my headaches. The headaches wouldn't go away no matter how much Tylenol I took. So I finally made a doctor's appointment today and I made it over the phone because you're not supposed to go in when you have a cough. So I made it over the phone. He called me. I tell him what's going on or whatever. And he goes, oh, okay, just call me in one week if it doesn't get better. Like, what do you mean? It's literally been almost a month right now. He's like, just come in and we'll get a chest x-ray. I don't think the problem is with my chest. Wait, actually, yeah, I think it is. But the swollen lymph nodes are scaring me because, I, like, I keep looking up shit and, like, it's all saying, like, <clears throat> some really scary stuff. And that's not normal. Like, does he want me to die? Anyways, I just wanted to vent. I hope you guys enjoy my view. Um, I will be dropping the merch link. <coughs> so I realized that... <coughs> <coughs> The, mar the merch is going to be dropped by the time I release this. Holy fuck, my throat. I mean, my... Whoa, my chest feels really fuck ow. Anyway, I'm going to drop the merch link in the description. Um, Because I realized that this video... By the time this video gets posted, the merch will be dropped. So I'm going to drop it in the description. <coughs> and yeah. Pray for me that I get better. Bye, guys.